All right, guys, we're about to start. Apologies for the late start. I've got DHR Western Province coach uh, John Dobson and John Bayon. Um, we can kick off. I don't know who wants to start. Good. Okay, thanks, yeah. And then we should call it then, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it on mute? What's happening here? Have we got any feedback on Sol? Yeah, he's... Alright, Stephen, you can go. Okay, Steve's batting, but he's next, okay. That's all right. Yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, well done, guys. It was great stuff. Thanks, eh? Thanks, Steve. Um, Donna, um, I mean, yeah, it's sort of the team that you have put together and um, very little... Uh, continuity, obviously, uh, you must be very happy that they can come come to Ellis Park and, and meet the Lions. Yeah, I'm very, very happy, very proud of them. What I really liked, Steve, was probably some of the similar traits you see in the Stormers team, you know, the way we defended after half time, the way we worked for each other. Um, yeah, I, I was really, so, yeah, very, very, very pleased and proud of them. Um, full stop. You know, you look at guys also. Um, just from a development perspective, I mean, the scrums went, went really well. So, the, you know, the miles that you're getting on, for example, and the props, you know, just as examples, um, that must be really pleasing that the guys can also come and pick up that kind of experience uh, and really show that, you know, you've got uh, got talent also, more, more talent for the UFC going forward. Yeah, and that's what you had, know, like uh, Rowan Smith and Steve Satoli, a pair of experienced props, and to have Lee Marvin and Quenzo and Chi and Leon Lyons and Sazi go like it was very pleasing. Um, you know, we probably, next week we've probably got a pretty strong Bulls team, looking what they chose this week and probably being even stronger next week. Or, um, and, but this is the group, this is the value of this competition for us, is to get these guys, and I think a lot of guys showed they can, and well, they already have some of them, a lot of them, but they can play URC. And so, it wasn't easy, I don't think. Jimmy was on the field, was it, Jimmy? It, yeah, was, it was tough. It was tough, and it was hot, fast, so it was tough. Very high ball in play. So, very happy. Jimmy, you can't be very happy with that. Um, uh. God, you <laughs> like want to do. Yeah, you yeah. You want to catch the ball and somebody jumped over you <laughs> in the next seat while you're off the field. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's just the, the loss of the game right now. I mean, sometimes you're going to be lucky, sometimes you're going to be unlucky. But I mean, um, it is what it is, the ref made the call. Um, so it's just important for us to control the controllables. Uh, so luckily we didn't have too much damage in that uh, 10 minutes. Uh, but I'm proud of the boys just for the effort, you know, to play um, 80 minutes and just put 44 points on, on, on this uh, good Lions team. Thanks, Steve. Over the way the guys controlled with um, 14 men on a few occasions, yeah. um, that was quite pleasing for you. Yeah, very much. Uh, the, 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 the two, uh, two yellow cards. I was. I thought the discipline in the second half wasn't great. I think Juba's one was cheapest. I, I'm not sure what else you do in rugby than what Juba did. So that uh, yeah, as I say, he says it is what it is. But uh, second half we had a neck crawl, a couple of tackles on our arms. We were a bit, we were a bit poorer. But the way we controlled the game in those periods, and I thought the way you know, because you know, you, you, into the last minutes you sort of got the game wrapped up. Uh, the Lions are coming at you. They score a try, and the way we sort of went at the end there was brilliant. Yeah, so as I said to Steve, it's a, to me it's a, it was so nice to see the same DNA stamped on this team and it was stamped on the, on the Stormers team with their fight to the way they keep going. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, anything else, guys? Yes, sir, I just have another one. If yeah, you sure. Don't mind. All right. Um, Dom, I just want to check you out. The, the first two tries that the Lions um, scored in the first half, um, I found the team O protocols there um, quite interesting. Um, it, you know, um, I don't know whether you were not comment on any of that. Is there kind of maybe clarity that you would be would be seeking on you know on those two tries? Um, I, yeah, probably with a, with an inquiry on Monday. Um, you know, because what, what what we had in the yeah you know, the first one was flag up. And then on-field decision try, which I wasn't sure about. And then it, it, because there was no footage on that corner, there, it ended up staying with the on-field decision. But the first thing that happened was the flag up. <laughs> it's not as bad as what happened to Jonathan McQuinn in the Varsity Cup in the in the, in the Vitz Derby. But it's probably something worth uh, with, 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 with checking on. Yeah, sorry, the second one actually that I queried wasn't the try in the end, but it, it just seemed like a, a 
Uh, you know, a bit of a strange call, but anyway, okay, it doesn't matter in there for you. Nah, yeah, but I yeah, because we had that situation in the Vitz UJ game a little while ago where the flag went up, I think, the flag went up and then the penalty was awarded, so that was probably worth just something we probably could all tighten up on. Thanks, Stephen. Dudley, I see your hand up. Yes, just uh, one for me from, uh, for, for Joanne, please. Um, yeah. Joanne, you've been involved in the Carry Cup for, for a number of years on and off now. Um, you've seen it all. I mean, um, we know that the competition is not what it used to be, but I mean, there is a different sort of excitement to it nowadays. Um, just as a senior player and, and mentoring these young, the, the, the up and coming youngsters, um, um, what do you see? Uh, the value of, of the Curry Cup being nowadays and then just personally how, how it's changed for you from, from, from being a youngster and now just bringing through the, the next generation. Yeah, I must say I'm blessed to, you know, to play this uh, in the Curry Cup for a couple of years now. But the talent coming through for us is massive. You know, you guys today uh, that made their debuts like um, Bruce uh, Sherwood or um, um, uh, Lawan Lawan and, and a couple of other boys. So it's massive for us to bring those to a couple of guys through, um, especially a win like this will boost their morale, morale as well. Hopefully they can build that as well. And a lot of people will say, yeah, the Curry Cup is not the same that, like it used to be. But for me, myself, I just feel the same passion uh, mm. from all the players. Uh, I feel the same passion from, from teams around. Um, you know, it's just important. Hopefully we can get some more crowds behind us. But the Curry Cup is, is, is something special. It's one of the oldest competitions in in, in the world, uh, so for me playing in this, not only in the Curry Cup but in the Hoops is very special. Um, so for me, I just want to keep on building that and hopefully um, they get very successful. So so like in, in the past, they would say the Curry Cup belongs in the museum, but hopefully that's not something for us. We want we want to win the Curry Cup this uh, this year and make the best of it. Awesome, thanks, man. Thanks, Tony. Are we okay, guys? Anyone else? Cool. Thanks, John. John. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks. 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 Thanks.